Ladies and gentlemen, this is Toronto. And if you're like me and you like to shoot in this type of weather, then you're gonna to need to know how to protect your camera because I've been getting so many questions on my latest reel on Instagram about uh, how I'm keeping my camera safe. And to be honest with you, I don't always use weather protection. However, it is very important. So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how I protect my camera, usually, and it certainly helps if you have a weather sealed lens. But this is like blistering, blistering weather. So if you're gonna shoot in this type of weather or any other crazy type of weather like this, then you're gonna to wanna, to, you know what, just follow me inside. I am freezing, this is crazy. This was such a bad idea to come out here. All right guys, I am inside now. I am frozen, I'm wrapped up in a blanket. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to go out there in a t-shirt, but that's what I did. So, as promised, here's what I do. I have this right here. It's basically a bag with a drawstring on the end, which goes around the end of your lens. Your whole camera will fit in here, a DSLR, mirrorless camera, whatever you got, and the end is open. It is open. That means your hand can go in there and you can operate your camera. You can use all your little buttons and everything else and you'll have full functionality. So that's what I use. I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to pick up yourself one from Amazon. Let me say this. I know what you're wondering. Well, I think I know what you're wondering. I've had this question before, but one of the questions I get is, well, how can I see the back of my screen? Turn off your electronic viewfinder and keep it on your... Uh, what do you call that? The digital screen? The big screen. In the back. The big screen. You know what I'm talking about, eh? All right. So put it on there. However, it's going to be covered with plastic. And so it's not going to be perfect. So you're just going to have to rely on your camera's autofocus. And you're going to have to rely on your skill as a photographer. And you're just going to have to frame that shot up with your eyeball and click away. And yes, you're going to get shots that don't work. And that's okay, because it happens to me too. And you're going to get some good shots, I hope. Because otherwise, why would you be out there in the first place? In any case, I love to shoot in the pouring rain, and I love to shoot in the snow. I wish snow was warm, but it's not. Uh, other than that, yeah, pick up yourself one in the description below. If you did see my latest reel on Instagram, you'll see what I'm talking about. I got so many questions about how do you protect your camera? This is what I do. This is what I recommend. If you haven't already liked this video, please do so. Leave me comments below if you have any questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I'm going to start making videos again. You guys have missed me, and so I think it's time. All right, I love you all. Stay tuned for more Mr. Brian James.